Hey, welcome to my channel where I talk about my dolls and that's literally it. And in this video, I'm going to be redressing my dolls for fall, the ones on the screen anyway. And while I do that, I'm going to be telling, I guess, stories a little bit about what I've learned since starting YouTube channel. It's been almost eight months now, which means I've been trying to tell this or do this video for about two months. <laughs> but one thing led to another and I had all these other kinds of videos to do. So now I'm finally getting to it. And I, the reason I wanted to do it is because people are always saying in the comments or even off of YouTube when they find out I have a channel that they had something they thought about doing. So I just thought I might have a little bit of insight and some things were really surprising, especially because I came from an Instagram world. I've always shared my dolls on one form of social media or another. And I think I expected YouTube to be a lot like Instagram, but there were some things that were so different that I thought, okay, I'm going to talk about what I had to learn because on Instagram, I, my dolls, my collection had a big following. Um, uh, but it, that's part of the reason why I want to talk about it is because that kind of bleeds into, you know, this channel is for my collection too. So I just wanted to juxtapose what I've learned and I might talk a little bit about, like if you're curious what I'll be talking about before you decide if you want to listen, I might talk about why I started and just things that, like equipment you might need or whatever. Or if you're just, you know, curious about behind the scenes of somebody you've been listening to ramble for the last almost eight months or however long it's been. And I'm going to start with the doll blossom on this side of the screen and work my way across and I'll try to tell talk about the doll before I get back into talking but uh multitasking and I aren't the greatest of friends so I might I might forget and I don't know if that means I'll just talk about it at the end or something so I guess I should get started because this is a really long intro for something so silly um and I made notes down here so if you see me glancing down it's me cheating so the first thing I'm going to talk about as I put blossom uh, who's Julie's rival, into Julie's floral jumpsuit. I'm going to start off talking about the, the what I think was like the hardest lesson for me to learn, as in I'm still kind of learning it and getting it through my thick skull, is that people enjoy long videos. <laughs> and that's like, I remember when I first started, and you know, even to this day, I'm always peeking at the monitor to see how long my videos are getting because I always have, I think it's because when I watch videos or the videos I would follow that I would watch, we're always, you know, kind of like, you know, little tidbits, maybe 10 minutes long. And so I remember the, like the pressure, I would like start sweating when I would see, like, I would look and be like, oh, I'm at me eight minutes. I better, you know, I better hurry up. I better hurry up. And I would be so like, like so worried that people were going to, you know, like block <laughs> report. This guy talks too much. But as my channel went on and the more people who, the people who engaged the most were always like, slow down. I like a long video. And I was like, I don't, I don't think anybody else would. But yeah, so that was one thing. If I, maybe you have to have the gift of gab, I don't know, or have some kind of, as far as me saying like, here's what I learned and maybe this can help you, is that like maybe, you know, have, never feel like you need to rush through your videos. <laughs> And I'm trying to learn and I've gotten so much better. I mean, come on. <laughs> I have like videos that are over an hour or about an hour now. So clearly uh, I've been listening to everybody, to the people who are very vocal about telling me what to do or like what they enjoy about the channel or channels in general. I mean, not just mine. Um, so are these parts go with the outfit Julie's going to be wearing. So that's why I'm kind of all over the place with where I'm putting everything. And I think um, what kind of, what kind of, I guess, goes with that point is that what I didn't realize, because again, Instagram background, I didn't realize that people keep watching your videos, as in when you would, when I would make a post, whenever I'd make a post on Instagram, I mean, you post on Instagram more often, you might do like multiple times a day if you have enough things to take pictures of. And so I was used to people, like whatever likes you get would be like in a couple days, whatever comments, whatever engagement you get. It's going to be pretty much right away, and then it gets buried in, in your gallery or in your feed. So <laughs> I kind of assumed that was the thing on YouTube as well. And then every once in a while, I'll make the mistake of glancing at an old video, especially like my first view, and being like, why does this have more than 2,000 views? Who's been watching this horrible, crunchy video? So I think that's like a big lesson to learn to people is like, you know, when you're getting started, <laughs> You're gonna have to live with that on your feed forever in your um in your list of videos. And um 
oop. <laughs> so that's like the worst lesson I had to learn because if I ever had to, let's just say when I first was getting started on here, I was really, really shy. And I'll probably talk about this in better detail later. And, you know, I didn't really think people would care about me. So I was like, shut up, show the dolls, make it fast. And um, then as people were, like I mentioned, people were in engaging and saying, make it longer. I would, I would let's say, um, on a Friday night, maybe, if I was going to meet my friends to go out later and having a little bit of a, an adult beverage, let's say, I would be like, okay, it's time to like hear what I'm doing in my videos and try to improve my skills. <laughs> and I would watch, I would not recommend this to anyone. So I would try to watch back my videos and be like, oh yeah, I can fix that, I can fix that. And I would be like watching myself and be like, why am I so annoying? And then one time, I, this is a funny story that's not really gonna help anyone, but if it's just to show how funny things can happen. But I remember one Friday night that I was doing that, and this is probably like, I don't know, within the month or two of me starting this channel, I was having that like mental breakdown while I was watching my videos and being like, I have to stop. This is, I'm too annoying. And at the, literally at that moment, I got a notification on my phone. I don't like how this looks on her. Sorry, let me show you how I didn't, I thought this would look better, but it gets hidden in her curls. So it, it's, it's not the thing. I'm gonna go back to her other flower. And so as I was thinking that and having like my breakdown, uh, the notification was somebody saying, a comment of somebody saying, you're so fun to listen to. And I was like, what? <laughs> Thank you so much. Like in my head, I don't I remember what I said, like if I replied to them. But I remember thinking like, okay, yeah, we're all our worst critics. So if you do ever um, make the mistake of watching back your older videos, just know that it won't be as cringy to you or as cringy to everyone, at, at everyone else as it is to you. So I guess I wasn't meaning to talk about that, but there was another lesson I had to learn from my channel um, was that... Sorry, I'm not having a good time with Blossom's getup. I wanted something in her hair. Maybe just the glasses. One sec. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, a big difference is like, like when I'm talking about people still going back and viewing your old videos, like in the AG market, it's very niche. It's not like, as far as my um, types of videos, nothing's ever going to go viral. Like I've had, oh, you know what, the glasses, it looks better. I've had more, let's say, viral moments on Instagram that I think I would ever be able to have on YouTube. As in, like, if I posted a cool video about one of my collectibles, one of my Disney collectibles, because my Instagram is mostly my Disney stuff, I, you know, I've had, like, hundreds of thousands of views on a video, but it doesn't do anything for you. It's just people, it just attracts, like, attention to your account. It's not like you're going to get paid for that or anything. So, um, yeah, that's another thing is, like, this market is so niche that I don't expect too much to happen. Okay, I think it's cute. I can show her to you now. This is going to be her fall look. Um, but here on, on, so when those viral moments would happen on Instagram, it would still only be over like a couple of days. Whereas like I was saying here, it's still like, yeah, I don't have to worry that 10,000 people are going to look at that old video, my first video, but like, it'll still be like in my, I think when people new join the channel or see the videos, they get curious to go back. Or just because it's been there a long time, I don't know. But I shouldn't have spent so much time talking about this first video because I feel I'm just going to encourage people to go, go back and watch how terrible it was. But it's just my way of saying it's there for life. <laughs> um, did I have anything else to say about that? Um, yeah, I guess I. the thing is, though, whether you're going back and watching your old videos or just becoming more comfortable on camera without doing that, you are always going to improve and some of the things that I had to improve, you know, cause it's just a hobby. So it's not like I was coming into it to make a career out of being on YouTube um, is I had to improve my equipment a lot. <laughs> when I first started, if anyone's curious about this, so just to talk about how like, you know, when you start, it is, you know, just use whatever you have. You don't need a microphone. You don't need, what's it called? A tripod. You can make, do with anything. Oh, I'm putting Julie. This is Be Forever Julie. I have her in her original meat outfit. See, I'm already forgetting. And I'm just going to put her in her calico dress, which I'll show you once she's changed for the fall. <laughs> um, oh no, what was I saying? I think I was just saying that, you know, you start with whatever you have, your phone camera, whatever. And as 
you know, for me, as I was getting, when I say more serious, like I was getting more comfortable and I was gaining subscribers. When I saw that I had like 23 subscribers from that first video, I almost quit life. No, I don't mean like that. I mean like almost quit like social media life. <laughs> um, and, you know, but as you're getting more, com as I was getting more comfortable, I decided, okay, I'm not going to roll out my office chair and pile up all these like books and everything on it to make the phone. Like it was like a makeshift tripod. It was not a tripod at all but it was like me just holding the camera at the right height and sort of angle, but never the right angle. Because if, if you look at my old videos, they're all like, they're so crooked. And even, I don't know, the truth is even with a tripod, I'm still not able, I don't have the easiest time, but it's definitely better than, you know, stacking books on a chair to get your camera at the right height. So as I was getting more serious, it's like I bought just like a cheap little tripod that had this bonus that I didn't even think about was um it came with like a clicker so this is like a remote control like you could call it for recording the video which is to say that my when i before i got the tripod and the controller clicker that came with it i used to you know walk to the other side of or i would start out at the other side of my um of the camera hit record and then like run over here and start start my little like whatever i was going to say to get to get going, which was always the worst part in the beginning was like, how do I start the video? So sometimes I would take like 30 takes with just this long running video going because I had no way of starting and stopping. I was gonna get up and run back every time I screwed up the beginning, which was another problem because I would also have to cut the video. Except you may notice on my first video, I was too embarrassed to even cut it that I was like, if I look at any of this video, I'm not gonna upload it. And um, so at least from the first video, I started cutting off the beginning and the end. So, so I mean, it was my first video. It's okay to be like the worst amateur ever. Um, so, you know, having that clicker and not having to worry about cutting. When I say cutting, because like, I didn't, I hate, um, I think most of us hate hearing our voices and stuff. So it would be a lot, it would be torture to have to play that like two minutes of bloopers pretty much of me going uh how do i want to start this uh what do i want to say so yeah when i got that clicker huge benefit that i you know didn't even i didn't even know that was a thing like i i saw some people would use like their i think their apple watch to stop and record i'm like i'm not gonna buy an apple watch just for this youtube channel that's just for fun and so yeah that was a big thing to get the how would you say to get the, to make it a lot more to a lot easier to record and and then i eventually needed a phone with more memory because another problem i had in the beginning so and this i, I, I anybody who's like listening to be like oh yeah i'm curious about starting a channel i'm not sure everything i say is going to be helpful because for me i had i don't care about my phone i don't care how much memory it has you know i would whenever i would take pictures for instagram i would upload it right away so it's not like i would i'm just not someone who has a lot of stuff on my phone i'm not that kind of person who cares about my phone, I care about dolls. <laughs> and so I would have a lot of trouble, especially if I did any editing, because when you are editing on your phone, which is the easy, fast, lazy, whatever way you want to say to do it, I would, the, the problem that happens with um, phone editing is, you know, you have the videos that you've etched together on the editing app. And that like multiplies how much memory that video is taking up and then to transport it back, like to import it back to your phone. So you need like triple the memory of your, um, of your video, which meant every time I would do a long video, I was like, I can't edit anything because I would not, I don't have like three hours worth of space on my phone. My phone's not big enough, even if, and so sometimes when I would do editing, it would look like I had enough space and then I would have to import it. And it would be like, it takes like, I think one and a half the time. So if you have like a half hour video, I think it takes like 45 minutes to import, for example. So sometimes I would be, oh no. Sometimes I would be um, importing the video for 38 minutes. And then it would say, not enough memory on your phone. <laughs> I would lose my mind. So I'd have to like delete basically every app that wasn't the, my photos, where the video was, or the, um, or... I'm trying to say that like the edit, like the app and things like anything that was not necessary in order to have the, the video on my phone. So I was just like, I need one day, you know, I'll, I'll you know, when, 
you know, maybe when I, my uh, channel reaches monetization, which I'll talk about in a bit, I'll, you know, celebrate or commemorate it by getting a phone with real memory on it. And maybe a better camera, <laughs> because, you know, if I reach that point, then that means this is serious enough. But another thing that really helped me uh, with the recording of the videos it was just coming up with, like, I noticed a lot of, not necessarily ag tubers, but, like, YouTubers in general kind of had this, like, opener to all their videos. Like, they would say something. Sometimes it was long, like, sometimes it was more of an intro, like, telling you to like, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, no, that's too long. <laughs> What's something that's really fast that I can say? And that's why, I mean, it's obvious, but... So once I started that, because I'm, I'm not even kidding, there would be times I would... Oh, yeah, I'm a cornbread hair, sorry. There would be times I would start a video with even when I had the clicker and I would just kind of look dumbly at the camera and be like how do I start this <laughs> so it was the easiest thing just to come up with something that is like like as you hear in every video I say and then it kind of it's a, such an easy segue because part of what I'm saying is and in this video <laughs> I'll be talking about this and um let's see if I lost forgot anything did I talk about the mic I don't think I talked about the mic because that was another thing where I'm often like hiding behind my dolls, you know, like I'm moving things around. And I, I noticed that on those nights that I would be uh, get the liquid courage to hear back what I was doing, that you couldn't always hear me. So I was like, I need a mic. So I found, uh, if anybody, I'll, maybe I'll link this in the description if I remember. Because this was a really cheap mic. Works decently enough. And, um, sorry, I inhaled some doll hair. <laughs> um, and so I got the mic, but then I was really embarrassed to have the mic. So I used to like try to hide it in the first, I don't know, for the first, I don't know, maybe for like two or three months. Like it's only like for the last little tiny bit that I've been okay to, um, to show it. Be like, I have a mic on because I was like, you hear I have a mic. And so that's definitely something I would recommend for people too. But maybe not everyone, because I think a lot of people are, they're stationed very well and they're, they're not jumping all over the place like I usually am, like hiding behind the videos of the dolls in my videos which is another thing i used to do too in the beginning was like kind of hiding i think i'll talk about that later so i'm not going to talk about it now but so back to what i was saying about getting the phone upgrading my phone with the to sort of commemorate being monetized was um because it was a big purchase of course and i thought okay now that i'm getting monetized maybe one day i'll make enough money back i didn't know how it went yet to be monetized maybe i'll get the money back over time when I, um, now that I'm monetized. And to anybody who's not on YouTube or newer to YouTube or whatever, like to making videos, um, you need to have a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of public watch hours. I don't remember the number because the truth is I reached my public watch hours pretty fast <laughs> because, you know, people were like, Longer video, longer video. So I would just be making these long videos. So I, I reached the that like a month or two before I was even close to like to the subscribers I needed. Oh, <laughs> I'm putting Felicity back in her riding outfit. It's like the last time I did one of my story times tra changing changing my dolls out videos. I put her, I took her out of this to put her in her summer, in, um, not this outfit, but the outfit for it. And I'm putting her back in. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, as I was saying, you know, you have to have a certain amount of time, of public viewers, and uh, public watch hours, sorry, and the subscribers. And then from there, once you have that um, sort of, once that, once you're in, you can sign up to be a YouTube partner which means you have to open like an AdSense account. And I would compare starting the AdSense account to, you know, getting a new job. You have to fill in all your, all your, your tax information, which, you know, includes what country you live in, your address, your uh, social security, I think you call it in America, we call it social insurance, or where, whatever you call it, wherever, whatever country you're in. And it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty involved process because I mean, you know, they're paying you, it's pretty serious and you don't want to have, you don't want to not be paying your taxes. And I'm not, I don't know exactly yet how, how precise the taxing is. I won't know until April when I file my income taxes and, you know, include this, uh, include anything that I make off of YouTube. 
because as I mentioned before, YouTube being like a small little, like a niche market, you're not, most of us anyway, I shouldn't speak for everyone, I don't know, but I don't think most of us will be living off our American Girl videos. My goal is just, you know, like to pay, pay off, because as I said, it's, um, oh, <laughs> I think I put this on her backward. I, you know, pay off the equipment and then maybe I'll get like a better microphone. One that doesn't have, one that has a de on it, so I'm not constantly like hissing in your ears. <laughs> because I have like a strong S when I talk this, when I talk. And I think it would be nice for everyone who, especially, I hope nobody watches this with earphones on. Could you imagine? Um, so yeah, that's only been my goal with getting monetized. And the thing about getting paid is it's, you get paid like, and again, this is for anyone who's curious, maybe thinking about getting a, ch starting a channel or new to it. Um, they pay, I think, around the 20th to the 24th, something like that. You have to, like, provided you get everything set up and you get your direct payment, um, your direct payment information in. They'll send you, like, I don't know, 14 cents to just test that it went through. And then you'll, all this is done through AdSense, right? So you'll go back on and you'll say how much money was deposited in the account, like at the exact amount. And they'll say, okay, you're approved. You're, you've got your... We can now pay you because you've proved that this is your account. And then from there, you if to get paid, whenever you get paid, it's, you have to have a minimum of $100, $100 in your account. And I think that's before taxes. Um, and I would imagine that if you don't have 100 bucks one month, it'll carry over to the next month. I mean, assume, you know, they're going to pay you um, whenever you have $100 and... Not like, oh, you didn't get your minimum, for, you didn't get your quota for this month, so no money for you. Like, I don't think that's how it works. Because, you know, as, as a lot of other YouTube channels, not AG YouTube necessarily, will tell you, whoop, YouTube makes a lot in ads, like billions a year. So that's because that's another thing is I didn't expect, not that I get paid a lot on uh, YouTube, but I didn't expect to get as much as I, as I have so far in the... Um, maybe two and a half months that I've been monetized. And yeah, there have been no payment issues. I've made the minimum every time. So each, what is it, two or three times by now? And yeah, that, that's been, I, even though it was like arduous in the sense if you had to fill out a lot of forms and uh, there was a lot of back and forth, it was still smooth. Like it's been very smooth. It just feels like, you know, I think I've almost paid off the phone. <laughs> like almost as in because I... I get paid CAD, Canadian, which is the exchange rate, kind of works in the Canadian favor in the sense that they show you it in USD and you get paid in your currency. So it feels like more than what it looks like when I'm looking at my revenue, as they call it. And then um, it's taxed. And so you, it'll show the history in your, there's this, there's, I don't know, what do you call it, backdoor app that shows you everything, like all the analytics and everything for your channel. And so that I would say has been, once it got started, a very kind of smooth process. And I think I already said that, but I'm about to jump to the next point because I'm about to jump to the next doll. Uh, just a coincidence. I, hopefully I, the timing works out for all the changing and stories I have to tell. Um, so I'm gonna change the most recent historical release of Josefina into her riding outfit. But I don't have the proper boots. I have boots that look kind of similar-ish. Like I think the boots that she comes with have like a darker brown toe and maybe something along the heel. I'm hoping these look okay once they're on. They're off brand, found them on eBay, I don't know. And um, so I guess the next point I'll talk about, if anybody's curious, this isn't really gonna be helpful, but it's just like if anybody's in bit curious if you, you know, watch other videos of mine and you wonder what made me start, uh, what made me want to start all of a sudden. And it harkens back to Instagram because on Instagram, I, you know, it's only pictures and text. So when I found when I got into American Girl specifically, there was so much I wanted to say, like I wanted to, like, as you've been, <laughs> like, I could talk and talk about my dolls. And to anyone who's like, yeah, we know. It's like, no, it could be a whole lot worse. <laughs> like, this is me kind of like editing to uh, editing myself, not editing my videos. And so I just felt like uh, doing, just wear this underneath that, right? No, I felt like if I were to, once I got into American Girl, 
I, there was no way I could post pictures on Instagram. Like even to this day, like I'll do a long video and I'll be like, maybe I should put some kind of companion post on Instagram. But then I'm like, oh, then I'd have to type everything out and I have so much to say and I already said it all in the video. So that was one component of why I wanted to start with American Girl. But another component was I used to live in a house. And so therefore I had a lot more room and a lot more place, like a lot more like options for photo ops. Like I could, there were just more places to put my dolls in front of and take a picture. And so that was kind of fun. And here it was like, well, I have that one space over there that doesn't have a doll and I could probably put a stand the doll in front of that. So it just was not, this apartment, because of what I've done to it, is not conducive to, you know, taking pictures. But I thought, you know what, I could sit in front of my table and just gab at my, my phone once I get used to it. And so that just seemed like a better option for me. And I, my partner has, <laughs> there might be a couple reasons he's been telling me, he was telling me for the longest time, like, you should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, part of me is like, why? You're sick of one, the little bit I talk about it with you? <laughs> because that's the thing, right? When you're, most doll collectors will relate to the fact that even though you will have a supportive partner or supportive friends, they just don't get it, you know? And you know that that, that vacant smile they're giving you is their best version of being supportive, but really they're just like, I don't care, but I love you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, you have this feeling of, oh, is that why you're telling me I started a YouTube channel so I can leave you alone? Because I barely bug you, I swear. <laughs> and... So when he was, his last trip to India, he goes to India every year for about two months because that's where he's from. And so this time it was like the right intersection of two things happening. One, his long trip. And two, I knew that the Tiana doll was about to come out. The American Girl Tiana doll was about to come out because they had this, this uh, logo on their website for a while that said dreams do come true. And it was like the Disney logo there with it. And I was like, dreams do come true, huh? That is literally... Tiana's slogan, uh, dreams do come true in New Orleans is the whole song at the end. So I was like, Tiana's finally coming. I thought limited edition, but I was more excited that it was Playline because I'm like, I could buy, well, I'm up to seven of her. So it was like the perfect confluence of events that made me think, okay, now is the time to start my channel. And um, another thing that's nice about doing your own, like, you know, posting in like forums or Facebook groups, it's kind of limiting because yeah, you can show off your doll and people can like, like and comment on it. And, you know, but you still have to worry, like, am I going to say something that's breaking a rule? Because, and, and I'm not talking about the American Girl uh, community, in, like specifically, I have never had an issue in that community, but I have had issues in other communities where it's like, you think you're saying something perfectly fine. And then somebody's like, oh, you're getting a warning. And it's like, I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm an adult collector talking about dolls. And that's all I talk about. I don't think I'm saying anything wrong, but, you know, I'm going to leave here before you ruin this for me. So I think that's why it's, I've always been a little more comfortable. Or I, when I went over to Instagram, I realized I was more comfortable being in my own space because, you know, I don't think I'll ever say something disrespectful or anything like that. And if I did, people would just be like, okay, signing out now. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of having free, freedom of choice <laughs> is, yeah, you can just come and go whenever you feel like it. So I think that was like a big... Um, a big draw to starting the channel. So I haven't, I've only had this on an, on an older Josefina doll. So it's kind of cute seeing it come together on her. What was I saying? That was a big draw to starting my own channel, blah, blah, blah. And so, ooh, uh, a little distracted, my apologies. So yes, um, and then I think that kind of me starting this and talking about how I've come from Instagram will kind of bleed into the next point, which is where like, you know, people want to see you. And you know, when I came from Instagram, people certainly did. Oh, for, before I jump into that topic, I'm changing Melody from this is gonna look weird, but I'm changing her from her like holiday outfit into her meat outfit because I wanted I just wanted to see her and her the BFF I made for her in winter gear because she's got a winter outfit. So, and then what I was saying about um, people wanting to see you is uh, when I was on Instagram, I would occasionally post a selfie. It was like in a, you know, he, you're all here for my dolls, but here, here I am. I'm a real human, you know, like here's who I am. You know, you kind of like deserve to know who you're following. And it would definitely get a lot of engagement <laughs> for better or worse. Like sometimes, you, 
I, I didn't mean to talk about this in this video, but like, um, you know, when people would put like nice comments in the comments, it was one thing. But when then when they like send you private messages, it was another. It was like, okay, I'm not going to post a selfie for a while. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with your imagination on that one because I like to keep my American Girl videos very family friendly. Um, so, but I still was like, you know, I try to be active and show what, you know, like what I look like, who I am. But it had to be like a special occasion. And sometimes it would even be like, oh, I really like this doll and I want to get a lot of likes on the picture. So I'm going to post it with myself in it. Just as I found like, you know, people, they want to see you. Like, like as I'm saying in this point right now is like, um, when I, because, again, because I came from Instagram, when I first started doing this channel, it was, it was this instinct I had to sort of like, you know, kind of like put the dolls up front and never be here and, you know, kind of talk down and be quiet and be like, Nobody cares about you, what you have to say. And I don't mean that in a self-deprecating way. I just mean like, you know, people are here to see dolls. So don't make it about you. <laughs> and I would, I even imagined or hoped maybe, hoped is the word, that when people would watch my videos, they were probably, you know, like put me on mute and maybe even like speed up the video, maybe pause to look at the dolls when... You know, I finally brought them forward and did I bring enough the dolls forward for this video? I'll do it after. Um, where, you know, then they would just um, enjoy the dolls and tolerate me, I guess you could say. <laughs> but as I progress and like as the channel progressed, my videos progressed, it's what I already said where people, you know, I, I came to learn that people were. Well, this is to, I think mostly it's the people who are, who engage the most with the channel. I have, maybe it's a defense mechanism, but I am most certain that the majority of people watching who watch these videos are not watching me with the sound on. I think they couldn't bear it. And, but it's the people who I, you know, I'm talking, when I say talking with, like anybody who comments, I'm going to, I'm going to respond because that's the exact reason I started the channel was to talk about my dolls. So that was like something I learned that was interesting to me was like, oh, so people aren't just tuning in because they want to see the dolls. They actually want to know a bit, a bit more about the person who is, um, sorry, who's collecting. I'm just trying to make sure she looks nice on the stand. And I, like, that's another thing is I've had so much, I've very, very rarely had any like negative, how did I get her to hold this before? I have had very few negative comments that I've had to resp uh, delete. And I've even seen like positivity about um, my videos outside of YouTube. Um, and whenever I hear like somebody say like, oh, somebody's talking about you, I'm like, oh no, oh, what are they saying? Do I need to apologize for something? <laughs> and then that's not the case. So, oh, I put her shoe on really weird. Um, I don't think I need to show Melody in her meat outfit up close, but <laughs> it's like, now I'll think of it now that I'm putting her in her most basic outfit. But to me, this feels like a fall outfit for her, of the colors. And I haven't seen it. And I'm, I'm really admiring her because I haven't seen it on her in so long that I'm like, why don't I put this back on you enough? And how did I get her to hold her purse? Ugh, I hate them holding. I don't like that. Oh, man. Okay. But anyway, she does look really cute in her. She has a great meat outfit. So that's been a nice thing that people, because I, what I've found, people seem to take to the fact that I'm a male collector. Okay. So this is my girl of today no yeah american girl of today number 12 who is ever since she's come into my collection she shot right to the top of of oh i didn't anyway uh right to the top of my favorites <laughs> she's got this cute little mind her bad hair but she's got this cute little like head tilt that most people would complain about I'm like how could you it's so cute yeah so what i've had the most positivity about or you know received messages elsewhere and things like that is because i'm a male collector and there are, you know, there are parents out there, as I suspected, who would watch my videos and maybe let their kids listen sometimes. It's the, the ones, you know, the, the comments or messages or whatever that are the most touching is when, oops, when a parent is reaching out because they have a child, a little boy, sorry, who also plays with dolls. I don't know why they're using me to so show like, look, it's normal. It's like me. I'm the example. I don't know about that. <laughs> but, you know, at least it's like they're showing that oh these it's, you know it's an old outfit so i have to be really careful taking off these boots because she's got big feet that pleasant company body oh no are you coming off Whew. <laughs> i love this outfit it's definitely my one of my top five outfits 
uh, where was I saying? Yeah, just that. So people really like to engage even outside of YouTube <laughs> because that was another difference between Instagram and YouTube is you can't really, you can't message somebody. There's no messaging system on here, which for the reasons I mentioned when I would like post selfies on, how does this open? Is this just buttoned? So I've had it on her the entire time I've had her. Um, so yeah, like what I was mentioning about people when they would respond to selfies, I'm like, maybe I am better off, but you can't message me here. But it's, it, I just don't think, I, you know, when I talked about that analytics tab before, I can see that most of the people who whoop, watch me or watch my videos are women. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, and ooh, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything because I'm still, I'm still putting her in her at last outfit. But if I ran out of time, like when I, the last time I did one of these dress un, uh, redressing videos, um, I, I had more dolls than I needed. So if that happens again, no big deal because nobody was upset last time. And, oh yeah, yeah. So this is another interesting, this is almost like my brain doesn't like to think about it. Another thing that people like to do when they're watching YouTube videos. Because as I mentioned earlier, there are people who I assume the majority would like just watch the video on mute. There are people who do the opposite. <laughs> and you know I'm talking to you right now because you've many of you have mentioned it that you know you'll do like you'll have uh, no I'm sure not just my videos, but you'll have you'll say it to me that you have my video on while you're like doing stuff in the background, whether it's cleaning or crafting, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> you are just listening to this voice <laughs> while <laughs> while I'm doing whatever I'm doing on screen? Like you're not even enjoying the dolls? I mean I'm sure you know, whenever I, they're probably like, he's going to be a while with this doll, like right now. Um, so they'll just like pop in and out, I'm sure. So that was another really funny, like, thing that I had to get used to was that, because we all hate the sound of our own voice. I don't think I'm special for that, but um, it's just really funny to think that that's happening. And for, if I am done talking, I do want to show this outfit on her because I'm really excited to see it. And I don't know what I'll talk about. I'm sure I'll think of something even if it's just to thank people who have allowed me to get this point to this point of being comfortable on here. Oh no. Sorry. Every time Velcro touches, um, what is this called? Tights. I have a panic. <laughs> like it's going to ruin it. Cause I've ruined, not I've ruined, but I've, you know, gotten little poles in many a tights on here. I don't think it's cause I'm talking. I think it's just, no, it's cause I'm talking. Who am I kidding? My blabber mouth. And I forgot that I'm putting like, Oh, she's a chubby girl. Not that there's anything wrong with being a chubby girl. She is one of my favorites, but it's kind of like, ugh. It's having a hard time going on her. But I think this will really suit her. Um, so if I don't have anything else to say, I can just talk a little bit about the dolls who are left while I uh, inconspicuously scroll through my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything, because that's another thing that'll probably never change about my channel. Like, I will never get more professional than this. And I think that might be why some people are here. They're like, oh, he's real. Oh, no. her. I wanted to put her hair in braids. and eh, you're not going to see it from the back. But it's just that she has, like, a wig that doesn't have anywhere to part. And there's none of those shorter hairs. Oh. <laughs> as soon as, I, like, I, I felt that happening. I knew I, was gonna, I, knew I was, wasn't because I was talking. I could just feel that I was being really reckless putting this jumper on her. Yeah, so I do think I got all my points out that I wanted to say. And I can just quickly get this outfit on her. I guess I won't braid her hair, or should I? Yes, I will slow down, as people always say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, so for me, because I was saying I have a lapel mic, but I've seen other people who have either no mic because they're just sitting there, or they have, like a like, a better mic, a stationary mic, but I just don't think that would suit it for me. But if I ever do show up with this like really like expensive mic all of a sudden, or you are like, wow, the lighting looks really professional in his, a lot more professional than it used to. Cause I just have the lights on from my, uh, from my display cases. So it's like the day that you see that I have something kind of professional looking, it's like, okay, <laughs> I guess he's made back the money for his, um, his tripod and his, let's do little bows. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. 
it'll be like, I guess he's made back the money now for his, um, his new phone. And now he can afford, not that I can't afford it, but like, it's like, I don't want to, because my play money, if that's what you call it, obviously goes to my dolls. So it's like this part of this hobby money that I use. I don't know where I put my comb, my favorite comb for their hair. I'll use a pick. Yeah, so that's why it's like, th um, I'd rather use my hobby money, like my non-YouTube making monetization money toward the dolls part of my hobby. Because as most of you have seen, <laughs> well, anybody who I'm talking to, those of you who have seen my other videos, I end up doing a lot of unboxings because I end up buying a lot of dolls because, you know, I started the channel because I love dolls. And... Uh, I don't know. Do I need to do this? Yeah, it's it's gonna be cute. So, I guess I have a few moments to say now that fall is here. Fall is my favorite, oops, season, and it's also my favorite season because it's like the beginning. You know, Halloween's coming up, and then that kind of leads into all the other holidays. So I have ugh, a pick is not easy to brush her hair with. I have like a lot of these kind of like redressings and story times and I just really hope that in the future I have enough of the stories that I can get all the way through redressing my dolls. I don't think the ponytails were necessary on her but she's very cute. And even though I have the memory right now that I could like easily cut to to her being, I'm not gonna make her look really pretty, I just wanna get the bows in. And even though I could like cut away and edit back, that's just not my style. And I don't know if I'll ever get better, like, you know, a lot of, even AG tubers will have like a little intro, like with the music and like a little, I don't know if a theme song is the right word, but you know, there's just a lot more pizzazz to what they do, they lace her thumbnails. But I think I'm kind of like, so content, so comfortable, just being, <laughs> Not a mess, but like lazy. I don't know. Down to earth. That's the good way to put it, right? So real. <laughs> okay, so I think she might look better in braids. And if that's the case, you'll probably see her in the background in one video one day. Because that's what I kind of do. Like, if you, I don't know if you notice, can you see Barbie behind me next to? So there's Kirsten on one side and Barbie on the other. I did my Barbie un unboxing before. And then I didn't think to bring over another outfit to try on her. And so that's why I wanted to show her now. Like, but not show her and talk about her, but like put her behind me so you can see. And so here's this outfit comes with really cute Mary Jane style shoes. But the Christmas outfit comes with shoes that might actually suit it better because they have little black velvet bows like the dress. Except I can't get the shoe to go on nicely because I'm I just wanted to see like which one I like better. And I will show you them both. Oh, the Mary Jane's no doubt. If we can get her bangs to save correctly. Yeah, so this outfit, I'm loving it on her, but like, there's no question that the Mary, the Mary Jane looks better, huh? Than the, the bow. Yeah, you don't even see the bow. It does, and I think as I know it's the Christmas outfit, I'm just not feeling it. So don't worry. Oh, not that you're worried that I'm not almost done, but I'm meaning like I'm almost done changing her, and then I can put her in front of the camera and show off one of my favorite dolls. Parker. I'm going to braid it after. So <laughs> I'm not feeling it in the little pigtails, but I ran out of things to say. So here you go. She's cute, right? All right. So now that the my blabbing is done, here's Parker in Melody's school outfit. And I was worried that I would have too much to say, so I brought Ivy down, but I'm not going to change her. I don't need to. I've got everything done. Here is... Oh. I'll put her glasses on her. I brought them over. I must have intended to put them on her. Here is going to be Melody in her meat. I sometimes have a problem covering dolls' eyes because their eyes are like my favorite part. Like the the biggest, I guess, connection I would have with the doll is how, how much I like their eyes. But you know what? These glasses are cute. She can wear them. Because I did always... How did I make her hold her purse? In case you didn't notice, I'm having trouble making her hold her purse. <laughs> Fine, you know what? She's going to hold it the way I hate the way American girls hold their purses. Uh -huh. There. They're not completely straight, but I can get her off. I can get them fixed later. And 
Here is Josefina in her riding outfit. These are, because it's a fall color, I don't, I doubt it's like a fall outfit in her story or whatever, but you know, I, it's a pretty recent outfit I got. The substitute for her riding boots. Because she came with a pair of boots that were so funny, but I, not she, but this outfit came with a pair of boots that were so funny and I know they're not right. Here's Felicity in my second favorite Felicity outfit. Oh, and I'm so glad I got to put, see, I did a Julie fashion show back in April and I put this outfit on her and I had never put it on her before and I just like fell in love with how it looked and I was like, I'm going to need to start putting it back on her. But in order to do that, I needed to find another outfit for Blossom because Blossom wore the tights and the boots from it. And you know, I'm happy with the outfit I found here. Her floral jumper. Because I didn't really, I like it fine on Julie, but I, I didn't think I was ever going to gonna have like a purpose or a season to put on her. So this actually worked out really well. And now I can officially let you all go until my next video, which is going to be in a couple days because guess what? Another unboxing. Okay, so um, thank you to everyone who has stayed with me this long. Not just the 40 whatever minutes, 46 minutes, but the last like eight months almost. It's been a lot of fun blabbing to my living room and then you. So thank you and I'll see you soon in the next one.